hi guys welcome back to our channel today i am going to be doing things that i wish i knew about pregnancy before i got pregnant so let's just get into it honestly there's not a lot of things but there are a few things and number one would be back pain like obviously like i expected some back pain but the back pain is just completely different like i've dealt with back pain pretty much from the entire time that i've had my period so since i was like 13 so i have really bad back pain with my period so during pregnancy though my back pain has been so much worse um here lately it's been pretty bad especially because i am in my third trimester and i only have a few weeks left but there was one time specifically in like my first trimester i think i was about to be in my second trimester that like the back pain was so bad i remember just like being hunched over in bed and it was just so bad i felt bad for Trayvon because he didn't really know what to do and to kind of go along with the back pain like turning over or like sitting up is like a chore in and of itself like I hate whenever I go somewhere in public and like they have like benches which obviously like a lot of the benches don't have backs on it which is very uncomfortable to like not have something to lean on i dealt with that when we went to the water park a few times so i would just like lay my back up against trayvon and that kind of helped a little bit and then each time i like sat up he would have to help me sit back up and then turning is sometimes a chore the next thing is the amount of tests that they do like and by tests i mean the amount of blood work they do the amount of urine samples stuff like that i know my first appointment i got blood taken and then the next time i went i think i got blood taken again and then you do the glucose test later on you get blood taken again and then the time that i was in the er they took blood and they also took a urine sample as well and um in the beginning of my pregnancy, I had to take a urine sample um, at a clinic and then also had to take a urine sample at my doctor's office. And like, so usually I'm prepared to like take a urine sample, but when I was in the ER, I didn't know I was gonna have to take a urine sample. And like, I was kind of dehydrated that day and I really hadn't had much to drink, so like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know how much pee I can give you because I really don't have to go right now. Like, I usually do have to go, but right now I just really don't. Got like that much pee. And like, I've never had to have blood taken before. So I'm very terrified of needles. I know I have 18 piercings, but I am still terrified of needles getting shots and like getting your getting your blood drawn is completely different from getting a piercing or like getting a tattoo just not my cup of tea and also when i was in the er they had to put an iv in which i was very scared for that because like i said i've never had to deal with that i've never been in the hospital or like even really gone to the doctor or anything like that the only time that i was ever in the hospital was whenever i was a baby and it was shortly after i was born so this one is not like something that i wish i knew but it's just something to like kind of throw in there not everyone gets weird cravings i always like would see people talking about like weird pregnancy cravings before i got pregnant and i just thought pregnant women always craved weird stuff um and even looking at like people in my due date group a lot of them do crave a lot of like crazy stuff but for me personally i don't crave anything that's like weird um the only thing that i would consider weird that i was craving was sushi and the only reason why that was weird to me is because 
um, prior to getting pregnant, I had only ever had sushi once. So it was just kind of odd that I was craving something that I had like once and I didn't like hate it, but it wasn't like my favorite thing. So that was just something weird for me to crave. But again, it's not the typical weird pregnancy cravings. Like some people um, just crave like weird combinations. Like I can't even think of anything. But I know that some people also crave like ice and that's not necessarily weird. Um, but that's common with you being anemic. I'm anemic. I don't crave ice at all another thing is like exhaustion and what i mean by that is like even in my second trimester i remember we went to like main event and like i wasn't big then obviously i was in my second trimester i was like not even really showing um but it was very difficult for me to walk around like I kept having to sit down and pull my mask down and like breathe another thing that you can't really prepare yourself is the feeling of like baby kicks like you can't really describe it to somebody who's never been pregnant what it feels like because you just don't know until you are like what it feels like like there's no like words to describe it like obviously when baby first starts moving and they're still like kind of small it feels like flutters or like gas um but actual kicks once you start getting those actual kicks it's just hard to describe like i can't even describe it to Trayvon. But anyways, that is going to be the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on my post notifications, and I will see you guys in my next one.